we are going to look at the art of the Debeli tribe in Africa. I want to pull open a map real quick to show you. So we've got the continent of Africa, and we're actually going to zoom in to the bottom and South Africa. So this is where you're going to see these Debeli tribe painting the inside and outside of their homes with beautiful patterns and different lines. So that's what we are going to do today is design a house and this entryway. So let's look a little bit more about the Debeli tribe. If you lived here, your brightly decorated home would be easy to find. Look at that. Look at all of these different designs. With a brush or your fingertips and lots of color, you and your mother and sisters would have painted the outside walls of your house in bold geometric patterns and shapes that look like flowers, leaves, and birds. Each house facade, the outside, in your village is decorated by its family and each has its own recognizable expression, just like a person's face. So they're all unique. Let's look at the materials that they're building. So these round or rectangular houses are made of earth and cow dung and have thatched roofs. In the past, a variety of clays, lime, soot, and earth were used to make the colors. Today, Debelli's mural painters use brilliantly colored store-bought paints. So before they were using natural materials, things were, that were around them and that were available. So painting these houses and the walls outside dates back to the 1600s. And the Debelli mothers continue to pass the custom on of painting their houses to each new generation. And look at this fact, the women of the tribe were able to communicate secretly during times of war through the messages in their murals. Isn't that so neat? Now I wanna show you a little bit about these kind of little doorways or entryways. Okay, so this is a front wall. So sometimes they have two types of a gateway. They're either open with two independent gate pillars or, as you can see here, or they are bridged together. So we're actually gonna draw one of these entryways and we're gonna draw one of these thatched roofed houses. And if you notice, what kind of lines do you see? What kind of shapes do you see? So I see straight lines, diagonal, zigzag. You might see some lines that look like castle lines. And a lot of these shapes are shapes you can name, right? triangles, half circles. All right, so we're gonna use this as an inspiration. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways here. We can kind of see the patterns down there. A couple of ways to do this. So if I were drawing the house with the thatched roof, I'm actually gonna start, so it would be a round house. So if I turn it on the side, it's a cylinder, right? So that means I'm gonna start my bottom line I'm gonna go from here to here, but I wanna put a little curve on it, a little curve. This is gonna make it look more 3D. Then these two lines go straight up and down, and I want those to be about the same length. I'm not going for perfect here, so it's okay that my lines are not perfectly straight. This line connecting this is going to be the same kind of curve as this one, but it's gonna go a little bit further out. So I'm gonna go a little bit further out, connect there. And then the roof, since it's thatched, so it's using um, leaves and plants from around them, maybe gonna have a little bit of a rounded edge here. So I'm gonna bring that right up to a point that's about halfway and then back down to the side. So each side is matching. If you notice in my painting I did here, it has symmetry. So if I draw an imaginary line down the middle, the right side is matching the left side because that's really what you see a lot of in these homes. So then you can add a little doorway and windows if you want to sort of start it off. So I'm gonna add some little windows. Now before I go on to the designs, I wanna show you something else you can do. Oops, sorry. Um, to make the entryway that's that gate that's really a cool shape to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to fold my paper. So speaking of symmetry, if I fold my paper in half, 
and I make a drawing. So I'm gonna do this in pencil. I'm gonna make the little fancy uh, gateway. And if I do it on the fold, you see this is the open part. I wanna do this on the fold. I'm gonna go over, down, over, down, maybe a little half circle, down, over, down, and here. And this is gonna give my little entryway. And then right here, I'm gonna draw a little line. So watch what I get when I cut this. I'm gonna keep it folded while I cut. And I'm just cutting this line, taking big, slow bites, turning my paper. And you could glue this onto a colored paper and that'd give you a really nice background. But designing all the lines and shapes, that's the fun part. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Now, I could cut out this center one as well, since it is does have an opening. And look, now it is symmetrical. So I have those and I'm gonna grab a sheet of paper. Oh, look at it on the dark paper. So now you can see it a little bit better. So there's one I can design. Then I have this guy. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and look at the different lines and designs that I want to use. So look at this. Here is a picture of a woman painting. So I might use that as some inspiration too. So on here, this is the thatch roof, so I don't need to decorate that. I'm just gonna put some little lines in there, may have a, have a little texture. And now I'm gonna come in and maybe I'm gonna do a shape here. I'm gonna give a little border around the door. Now this is the part where you are the artist, so you are not gonna copy what I am doing, but you can use similar types of lines. So maybe you'll have a zigzag line, but instead of going up to the doorway, Maybe it goes up like this and then back down. And just remember, whatever you do on one side, you're gonna match it on the other side so it has symmetry. And that's why starting in pencil will be really helpful. So just to show you some different things they might use. You might have some half circles. I'm gonna do another baby one there. You might have this kind of step line. You might have some castle lines. You might have some floating shapes in the middle, like a triangle, and you can give it different layers. I love that, how it's got the different layers in it. So I'm gonna do another one over here. Get my line here going down. Oop, didn't get that exact, that's okay. And you can have some other floating shapes here, triangles, lots of different shapes in there. So. I'm not gonna do too much more. I'm gonna leave it on here so you can see some of these designs and figure out what kind of lines and shapes you want to add to your house or gateway. Good luck.